Hey everyone, Paul Johnson, Waconia, Minnesota, and the Laughing Trout Fly Tying Club. Today I'm going to be tying my BWO special or Blue Wing Olive special. Uh, certainly one of my top dry flies that I tie. Uh, this is going to mimic the Blue Wing Olives that we get here in the Midwest and in the early spring again throughout the fall. It's tied on a size 18 dry fly hook, a 1XL long dry fly hook. The tail or the shuck is Mayfly Brown Zelon. And it's their improved Zelon, so it's a little bit straighter. The body or the abdomen is just going to be my tying thread. The wing is some fine deer hair. And then it has a collar of medium done rooster hackle. So let's get started tying the fly. Get my hook inserted in my vise. Thread, I'm going to be using uh, UTC size 70 to near and olive. Uh, then this is the, the best thread that I've found for tying this fly uh, to get that body nice and smooth. So I'm going to start my tying thread at about the three-quarter mark. And that's going to be where I want to get my wing tied in. So we're going to kind of honor that spot. I have a clump of that Zelon. Tie that in and I'm just going to pull that back so it uh, ends at that three-quarter point. Get that tied in. But at this point, what I want to do is get it tied in tightly, and I want to avoid any lumps or bumps in my wraps. All right, looking pretty good so far. So now I'm going to come in, I'm going to cut that off at about a hook shank in length. A little bit shorter is okay. All right, I'm going to build up that body of the fly just a little bit more. So from back to front. All right, now I'm going to spin my bobbin counterclockwise and what that's going to do, it's going to uncord my thread and flatten it out. And then I'm just going to go back over and that'll give me a nice smooth body. And then again at that three quarter point. Now what I found it helpful is to, to put a half inch in there and just hold that in place. Now I've cleaned and stacked a clump of deer hair. Tie that in right at that three quarter point. So what I'm going to do is hold it in my left hand, put it on top of the hook, and then I want it to be about a hook shank in length. So I'm just going to move that forward, a couple loose wraps, and then pull that tight. And I'm going to come in with Oh, five or six more additional tight wraps of thread. Now, don't let go of those butt ends at this point. Come in with your scissors and clip them off close. I did miss a couple. We'll just clean that up a little bit. All right. So we're going to leave that, that little bit of a clump of the butt ends of those on there, and that's just fine. So now we're going to come underneath and just kind of Lift this up. Key here is you've got to have a little bit of space between the eye and the wing. And if you don't, at this point, you can kind of take your thumbnail and jam it back a little bit to make sure you do have a little bit of space to get the hackle wraps and to uh, tie our knot. So create a little bit of a thread dam in there. Come back. A couple in there. I'm just going to clean those out of there. Okay. All right, now I have a done rooster hackle. I'm going to tie that in behind the clump. Make one wrap there. Come underneath and tie that down. Again, this is useful. I found to just put a half hitch in there. Kind of holds everything in place until we get to our final knot. Okay, With this rooster hackle I'm going to make two full turns behind the wing. That's one, two, I did very well in math in school by the way. And I'm going to lift that wing up, I'm going to make a full wrap in front of the wing. 
tie that off. Again, I've told you about in previous ones, I like to hang my bobbin from the attention uh, knob on there. Then it's out of my way, keeps attention to the back of the hook, and nothing comes unraveled. All right, at this point, I have a little bit of crowding there, so I'm just going to push it back. My thumbnail, come in and do a couple half hitch. You can do a whip finish. I just think the half hitch is a little bit easier in this fly. And there we go. So again, uh, you know, this fly works really well early spring when we have the, the blueing olives hatching and again throughout the fall. Uh, fish it, what I will do is I will take a little bit of floatant and put it on the collar and on the wing. Uh, try not to get the floatant on the, on the shuck or the body. You want that to sink down into the uh, film just a little bit. So that's my blueing olive special or BWO special. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.